Hello, I am Bishop Bill Wack of the Diocese of Pensacola, Tallahassee. A recent Pew Research study showed that 69% of those Catholics polled do not believe in the real presence in the Eucharist. This is very troubling because Jesus is, of course, really and truly present in the Eucharist in every Mass. Body, blood, soul, and divinity. It's not a sign or a symbol. It really is Jesus. He gives us this awesome mystery at every Mass. Listen to the teaching of Jesus Christ himself. Jesus said, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. Again, Jesus says, Amen, Amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. But I think in that chapter, the most telling verse, perhaps, comes a little bit earlier, verse 27, in which Jesus takes on some of those doubts that already existed in the minds of some of his disciples. He says to them, do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures, which the Son of Man will give you. So if the Eucharist is a sign or a symbol, it's food that perishes. But if it is the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, it is food that endures to eternal life. The Catholic Church teaches definitively from the Council of Trent, in the most blessed sacrament of the Eucharist, the body and blood, together with the soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ, and therefore the whole Christ is truly, really, and substantially contained. The saints have attested to the truth of the Eucharist and have delighted in the real presence down through the ages. Saint Justin Martyr writes this in the second century. We call this food Eucharist and no one may take part in it unless he believes that what we teach is true, has received baptism for the forgiveness of sins and new birth and lives in keeping with what Christ taught. How does this happen? How does this change occur in the Mass? St. John Chrysostom teaches, it is not man that causes the things offered to become the body and blood of Christ, but he who was crucified for us, Christ himself. The priest in the role of Christ pronounces these words, but their power and grace are God's. This is my body, he says, the word, transforms the things offered. And then St. Ambrose teaches, could not Christ's word, which can make from nothing what did not exist, change existing things into what they were not before? Belief in the real presence of Christ is a hallmark of the Catholic faith. Jesus Christ said, I am the living bread come down from heaven. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have life in him. This is the gift we have, the awesome, incredible gift that we have at every Mass. May we have communion with Christ, his true, real presence on earth, and enjoy eternal communion with him and the saints in heaven.